Shemuel Rishon 1 Samuel 10. Then Shemuel took Eth a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because Yahuwah has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? When you are departed from me today, then you shall find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Binyamin at Selchach, rather Selchach, and they will say unto you, The asses which you went to seek are found, and lo, your father has left at the care of the asses and sorrows for you, saying, What shall I do for my son? Then shall you go on forward from thence, and you shall come to the plain of Tevor, and there shall meet you three men going up to Elohim, to Beit El, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. And they will salute you, and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall receive of their hands. And rather, after that, you shall come to the hill of Elohim, where is the garrison of the Pelashitim. And it shall come to pass, when you are come thither to the city, that you shall meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tabret and a pipe and a harp before them, and they shall prophesy. And the Ruach Yahuwah will come upon you, and you shall prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. And let it be, when these signs are come unto you, that you do as occasion serve you, for Elohim is with you, and you shall go down before me to Gilgal. And behold, I will come down unto you to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice sacrifices of peace offerings. Seven days shall you tarry till I come to you and show you at what you shall do. And it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Shemuel, Elohim gave him another heart. And all those signs came to pass that day. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him, and the Ruach Elohim came upon him, and he prophesied among them. And it came to pass, when all that knew him before time saw that, behold, he prophesied among the prophets. Then the people said one to another, What is this that is come unto the son of Kiish? Is Shaul also among the prophets? And one of the same place answered and said, But who is their father? Therefore it became a proverb, Is Shaul also among the prophets? And when he had made an end of prophesying, he came to the high place. And Shaul's uncle said unto him and to his servant, Whither went ye? And he said, To seek at the asses, and when we saw that they were nowhere, we came to El Shemuel. And Shaul's uncle said, Tell me, I pray you, what Shemuel said unto you. And Shaul said unto his uncle, He told us plainly that the asses were found. But of Eth the matter of the kingdom, whereof Shemuel spoke, he told him not. And Shemuel called Eth the people together unto El Yahuwah to Mitzpah. And said unto the people of Yashadael, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, I brought up Eth Yashadael out of Mitzrayim, and delivered you out of the hand of the Mitzrim, and out of the hand of all kingdoms, and of them that oppressed you. And ye have this day rejected Eth your Elohim, who himself saved you out of all your adversities and your tribulations. And ye have said unto him, Nay, but set a king over us. Now therefore, present yourselves before Yahuwah. 
by your tribes and by your thousands. And when Shemuel had caused Eth all the tribes of Yashara'el to come near, the tribe of Binyamin was taken. When he had caused Eth the tribe of Binyamin to come near by their families, the family of Matri was taken, and Shaul the son of Keish was taken. And when they sought him, he could not be found. Therefore they inquired of Yahuwah further, if the man should yet come thither. And Yahuwah answered, Behold, he has hid himself among the stuff. And they ran and fetched him thence. And when he stood among the people, he was higher than any of the people from his shoulders and upward. And Shemuel said to all the people, See ye him whom Yahuwah has chosen, that there is none like him among all the people. And all the people shouted and said, Elohim, save the king. Then Shemuel told the people, Eth, the manner of the kingdom, and wrote it in a sefer, and laid it up before Yahuwah. And Shemuel sent all the people away, every man to his house. And Shaul also went home to Givah. And there went with him a band of men, whose hearts Elohim had touched. But the children of Belial said, How shall this man save us? And they despised him, and brought him no presents. But he held his peace.